yeah, yeah. Trey 600, oh. 360 Trace 600 Trace 600 I'm really disturbed right now. I, I got a bad call phone call. I'm gonna let y'all hear it. Cug, Cug gonna run it down to y'all. Uh, nigga wanna kill me on, this nigga wanna kill me on IG Live. Why live? Why they don't kill me from nobody yourself, nigga? Hey man, come on, man. Now, now I ain't got a third, y'all know I don't take, come on, man. Y'all know I don't take calls like this. I don't take calls like this. I don't take her. Come on, bro. I, I I don't play no man to be weak. I don't play no man to be weak. I don't play no man to be weak. Uh, especially about his wife. And when I seen that this had a husband, her husband came home and cause number one, nigga, I'm uh, well, quit. Don't quit, quit coming around here. Cause you already told me what type of nigga he was when you when he was locked up. You know what I'm saying? I can understand what you were going through. You act like you was all this when the nigga was locked up, all traumatized. Up. And then when the man come home, you get to acting the same way. And then the nigga told me, don't call my, don't call her, call me, nigga. Now I'm gonna call her first to make sure it's you. Might be a prank call. But 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 on my call, I'm gonna ask her. See, she gave the man my location, my drop. Drop. My nigga, my nigga call me. Hey, my nigga, call me. This King B? This Brian? This King B? You on here? I don't know. I don't know. I'm calling my nigga King B. You on here? This is King B. You on here? Oh, what's up? Oh, what's Man, this is my nigga King B, man. Call King B on this game of chess. Hold on. Call H Town right quick. Man. Call and call my house. Threaten to kill a nigga. Shoot him up. Uh, pull up on them. Call my blood in H Town right quick. I'm in the H right now. I don't know why I got the head on. Must have been a reason. King B, he's straight out of Ferguson. He's about like 20 something years flat. Yeah. Hey, what's up, man? Man, talk to your shit. Hey, man, I'm live right now talking to King B. I got 279 people on here listening to me. And you come, you know, I ain't gonna never hit you on a, on a drive. Man, I need, I'm playing a game of chess with, with, with a tough situation. I had to call, you know, I'm really playing, you know, when we play chess, King B, it, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's a head on sport. It's not, you know, they don't let people, um, uh, you know, get in the game. Don't nobody supposed to interfere when it's a one-on-one -on -one in a chess game. It's just one-on-one. -on -one. But right now, I'm playing two people, so I called. Nigga said I couldn't. You know, I called me a bag of chess player. You know what I'm saying? That's what we do, man. Mm -hmm. Y'all, y'all listening to the voice of King B, man. That's King B, man. King Beasley, man. King Blood. You understand me? Uh, H Town Finest. Uh, well, I ain't gotta, I ain't gotta, I ain't gotta introduce that nigga. Uh, he can talk for himself, man. Tell them people who is King B. Say, man, I know, you know what, on the situation I got going on right now, I'm playing chess because these niggas trying to play checkers on me down here right now. Uh, they gave my son, they gave my little son 20 years, you hear me? You're gonna win every time, man. Hey, watch this. I got, a, I got a female I've been dealing with for the last three years, you hear me? The yellow, you hear me? Right, right. We're not gonna even call his whole name no more, y'all. Uh, to everybody on here that's listening, we got, well, I'll let you know when we hit 300. We at 292 right now. But, uh, the female got a husband that's been locked up, you know, when her husband come home, you know, I tell him, no, no, stay her distance, you know, no, no. Cause I know how things like that can turn out when you, when you, uh, when you throwing another nigga in your, in your husband's face that just got out the penitentiary. You keep throwing another, bringing another nigga up. Right, 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 right. So I keep my distance on the situation. Um, right, right. So she yeah. bring up one day that, uh, you know, uh, eventually you're going to have to meet my husband. Uh, I tell you, right. no, what? what? What you mean? For what? I'm going to say this right here, man. That's the dangerous game, man. Say, say, I've been trying to, everybody, look at me. The whole world is looking at me right now. We at 310. I got the three. Uh, the whole world is looking at me right now, King Beasley. 
they've been looking at this game being played for the last six months. My whole fan base. I used to right, see right, people right. in the comments say they're no good. Yeah, man. Hey, I don't play it like that, King B. Listen, I've been asking the lady to leave me alone. You hear me? Okay, because I see that she trouble. You dig what I'm saying? You trouble. You ain't even trying to play safe for nothing. You gonna go around and get me? I'm not finna be a Mo3. I'm not finna be one of these um, niggas out here that'll let set him up. Cause I already know how, see, playing on this nigga. This nigga, we have an open relationship. I'm not gonna be in that. Right. I don't wanna be a part of no open relationship with them because you don't know what a nigga thinking. You hear me? Spit now. I ain't gonna lie to you, man. Hey, see, man, so the gate, man, you know, you was supposed to jam on the break. You know what I'm saying? She said a relationship open, man, you know. You know, I ain't gonna lie to you. One thing about me, I don't, even if it is open, man, I'm scared. I'm scared of that whooping from the man upstairs. You see right, me? right. It's bigger, it's bigger than you. It's bigger than her. You know what I'm saying? Right. And it's gonna be worth it for the ones that know. See, we know, first. It ain't like we don't know. We know the truth. So, you know, hey, you gonna have to jam on the break. You feel me? Because she's saying it's open. He might not think it's open. You know what I'm saying? And we know things to get open. They got closed. They got open and closed caskets, man. You don't want to be a part of that. Are no, you, sir. If you step out the street, you be at the one to close somebody's shit. You feel me? Yes, sir. Um, King B, you're exactly right. You know, you know we, you know we know them kind of cards when we play them. You know, and, and you know one thing about me and you, I gotta say, um. We know better than that. We don't fuck with them cards. That's a bad hand. I'm throwing this one in. Soon as I see, soon as I see what's dealt, I can't do nothing with this one. Let's set the game up a chest. Let, let's get it right. You gotta understand this right here, man. Right. I always gonna make it look good. That's the only way he can see. You know what you like. So he always gonna make it look good. You know what I'm saying? This one thing I know. You're not gonna female door. A female knock on your door, man. And she's scratching all down there. And she got bumps on her lips, looking like dried up oatmeal. He can't look like. <coughs> Say, King B, listen. I've been listen. I got the in park, um, with the with the emergency brake on. And with no keys in the car. I've been trying to say, let me tell you why this, let me tell you something. Let me, let, me, let me make it look. Now, everybody seen the other day on the live when she came in on the live. I had already dismissed her. Look, man, I don't play about, man, I don't take no man kindness for weakness. No man. You know, I'm, I'm going right, right. to fight a midget. I'm going to fight a little midget like he a big nigga. I'm going to take flight on the right, day. Right, right, right. I'm going to take flight. You know what we talking about. No cut, no cold, blind, simple, crazy, man. We go, hey, man. Child's foul, man. Okay, this man, this man just called my house today, man. You know, uh, all right, this this the play, King B. Check the chess game out. I'm going to make it real fast. The other day she called me, she said, I'm going to talk fast, y'all, so y'all got to keep up with the story. If you get lost, it's on y'all. The other day she called me, she said, Percy, I got a business deal for you. She said, I got some guys in uh, in another town that want to do a podcast with you. How much would you try? I say, well... Well, I haven't talked to no other guys. She say, oh, it's going to be this Saturday. I say, okay, cool. I say, well, um, ain't nobody talked to me and made no damn deposit to lock me in or nothing. She said, well, how much did you, you, you lock in? I said, I do 250 lock in, 250 day of. She said, okay, right, cool. Right. I said, but since it's right. you and you got it, uh, y'all just send, send me 100, 150. She said, I got 100 right now. I was like, God damn. I went from 250 to 100 that quick, fucking with her. I said, well, go on cash at me the hundred. She shot me the hundred to me. All right, she cash at me the hundred. She said, it's going to be this Saturday. She said, now I need you to promote it on your page. Well, this is, watch this, King B, to let you know that um, I'm not slipping on my pimping with everything I do got a price on it, even with you when it comes to business. You dig what I'm saying? So I say, the post on my page, it'll be it'll be $80. I'll do it to you for the 40 She said, okay, good, thank you. She shot me the 40 Okay, cool. I posted it on my page. Okay, day of, she come to me and say, well, we're not going to be able to have it. Uh, this week, we might can just do it at your place. Wait a minute, hold on, hold yeah. on, hold on. Hold on. Don't strike one right there because, number one, you told me we were doing that a bit. I don't do that in my place. I, I got paid to be at a podcast, get interviewed somewhere else in the day of. And she said, well, when we just have a music review at your house and we can invite people, well, that, that wasn't the deal. Now you're jumping off the business frame trying to get into your frame of mind. So I'm trying to peek in. I say, well, you didn't already send me $140. So, you know, if you just want to do play people music. I'm not a DJ. My shit ain't set up like no radio station. I don't got a mixing board or none of that hoe. You understand me? So now you putting something on me I don't do. I was called to do an interview with you. 
and on one of your right. podcasts. Okay, you say that they renege on it. We can do it. At, how you gonna do it at my place? I'm not the interview. I'm not. How am I interview me? So I knew right. something was wrong then. Okay, bam. When the time comes, uh, I have an interview going on. I say, you know what? Since she just want to do it on my phone, I just do it on my phone. Invite people to play their music on my, so she won't be you no know, broke out her money. Um, uh. she right. said, well, she come to me and said, well, um, uh, uh, um, at the time I was in an interview, which everybody already know that's on this live. We got three hundred, we got three hundred and ninety one people listening right now. I got King B on the other line, and um, the band, the day came up, and she said, well, um. They postponed on we can do it here or you owe me my uh, that that day I was in an interview with um Square Business. I had uh, a, a podcast going on my live. He came in doing they section that they didn't already pay me two fifty four. You dig what I'm saying? They already paid they two fifty and I'm right. doing my live for them. So uh she come in and interrupt that. Now she got thirty more minutes before me and her session starts. You understand me? My, me and her start at six. Right now I got thirty more minutes with them and then I get to her next. She in a rough stage trying to make it about her, trying to be seen and heard in the background doing their money. I asked her, could she please don't do that on their money because they didn't pay it already. And, and uh, hey, um, you interrupting they, you on their time. I ain't gonna lie. It's not like, hey, look, you need to go ahead and cut her off. Oh, 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 watch this. That day of, me and her got into it right here on the live. Everybody see me telling her, oh, that ain't how that work. You understand me? So uh, I dismissed her, but where's my money? The next day they pull up, I'm like, why this hoe back? She fell. She, I let Dana interview to do with her, just to fuck with her. She reneged. She come back the next day. Then this, then this is where the game get good at. She come back the next day, slamming the door. I said, "What you doing back over, over acting a fool on my life?" She come back in. She said, "Well, I need my my money back." I said, "You need to pay for the money you made me lose yesterday when you found my money right, with right. the books. How you need your money back when you pay for somebody else to me to be somewhere? You set up a business deal. The business deal didn't go through. You said they reneged. Now you saying I owe you." She said, "Will you come outside and tell my husband that? My husband outside." You know what I'm saying? Wait, wait, hold on, hold on, stop right there. Hey, wait, wait, hold on, hold on, King B. I said, "What? Uh, you over, you bring a nigga over here on some bull? Come on." So watch this. I grab Lucy, I grab my girlfriend, and I go outside to see what's going. Cause right now I'm scared. No, cause then you came here on some bull when you started some bull. Now watch this. It's gonna get better. It's gonna get better. So got me on. Uh, this, this just the chess game. We got four on her now. This the chess game. So I like that little mama. She said, we come out her side and tell my husband that. Now you gonna come on, you gonna bring a nigga there. And guess what, time out. Her husband came over here for a business deal. Just guess what? The cold thing, he don't even know. She in here talking all this, warn me up. And then gonna say, well, my husband has to come tell him all that she talking. Yeah, like, oh, y'all over here on that? Now, 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 let's keep this straight though. Now, now, I'm gonna back up just a little bit. She asked me to go to her house two or three times to meet her husband. I said, I don't meet no niggas, I quit niggas. That's your husband, keep, quit trying to get me. Then she told me that day, she said, won't you come by the house? Like that, I say, ain't your husband home? And I said, she said, yeah, I say, where he at? She said, he's at the house. I say, why you keep trying to get me to go around this man? I say, girl, quit, I don't go around no nigga. I don't play dangerous games like that, that's your game. We got an open relationship with, I don't play that because open, open and closed on mine, ho. You dig what I'm saying? So to try to get me to go around this nigga King B and I wouldn't take the back of saying, lady, I don't, why you keep doing that? Why you keep when you see I don't want it? So let me tell you what to do. To end up bringing a nigga to my house. Right. Okay. Now, now on some silly like, cause guess what? She told me the day before. She said, Percy, eventually one day you're gonna have to meet my husband. I said, No, I'm not. I don't gotta meet y'all for what? I with niggas. Why you keep wanting me to meet this man to see this man? You dig what I'm saying? Then like, eventually one day. Now eventually I'm just gonna stop fucking with you and I'll never have to see now one of y'all. How about that? Right. You know what I'm saying? That's my game. So guess what? To show up. On the book, and then she said, well, her husband, he's outside. Will you come out there and tell him that? Well, they said nothing. So I go out there on some motion, you understand me? On my, because this is how she presented it. Because number one, I know another man ain't gonna come to another man's house and he ain't got nothing on him if he on some gangster. Because that's what he coming for. But watch this. I called a nigga and told him my bad, because guess what? I come to find out the really, the the, the starter. The bitch is the one trying to set a nigga up and get something started between me and her husband. I'm like, just leave, just leave me alone, ho, and be faithful to your husband. Number one, if that's your husband, he'll tell you straight up, quit going around that nigga. 
That's what's the first thing he's supposed to do. Say, tell that snake from around because they're trying to set me up for failure. I'm not trying to be no Mo3. I'm not trying to be one of these niggas get set up behind one. I don't care how pretty right. you is, how good you is, how fine you is. It's like Saul Collins using ho. That's the truth for a woman to know. I don't have no respect for you no more. That's what you is. And I call a dog a dog, a cat a cat. So my thing is this. When she showed up with the nigga, I go out there on some gangsters. You dig know what I'm saying? But the sad thing about it, that man don't even know what's going on. He came over here for a business deal. Now, the play with them on their end was, we're going to go over and talk to Percy about business and see what's going on, how much we got to give him to show up for the interview. That's what he was on. But guess what? She don't come in here and present it like that. And so when I go after her, he not on it, and I am on it. And then when I see he not on it, you understand me? I snap to myself. I called a nigga the other day, and I said, man, I'm sorry about that, man. Because I was on some motion the way they presented it to me. And, you know, and then for a nigga to come to my house, after I done told this lady many times, I don't want to meet no niggas. And she know no niggas don't come over here, cool.